got Craig's on here for the first winter of the day. And there we go, that's the start on the uh, red worm. He's on again. Craig. Oh, that's a nice fish out of look at that. A snodger. Good stuff. Oh, it's an elbow slapper. Another decent fish on the Padnoster rig. And look at that, that's, they're good sized winneries, mate. He's not too bad. So just on our sort of, we've got a double dropper rig here. You see there about, what's that, 20 centimetres, another 20 centimetre drop. And then we've got the sinker here on the bottom, just to keep it up above the weed, so you're not, your hook's not getting caught in the weeds. So as you see, we're, we're only in very shallow water here, about two metres. On again. On the fighting whiting. Very shallow water here today. We're, you know, we were about... Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. We're about two hours after the high, and they're still in this very shallow water, and I've got a doubler here. Oh, I've got a doubler. That's what we're here for, Craig. Have a look at that. Elbow slapper. Oh, yeah. Listen to that sound of that drag. Very clear water. Another nice fish. Show. Yeah, Shows you don't have to be... You know, in four or five meters of water with with, with winter whiting. Here we, here we oh, go. Look at this. It's like oh, a look at this horse. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a snap. Oh, well done, Craig. Feel the pull down, and there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. Have a look at the size of this snodger. That's a ripper. And another beauty. Here we go. And here we go. Oh yeah. So the fighting whiting. Ah, just a one. Alright, Craig's on again. Really a nice patch here. Another decent fish. You like to hear that. Oh, he's got a doubler. There we go. Well done, mate. And another one. Alright, so we're just using some red dyed worms here. So you just cut in little pieces and prawns, some of the smaller prawns that were caught early in the season um, for a bit of bait. And also these little gulp, gulp nerils, two inch sandworm nerils in the bloody colour. Just on our old double hook rigs. And I'm feeling that pulling down now and we're on just like that. Just like that. Sometimes I don't mind sort of keeping it there and while they're fighting around trying to get their mates interested to come along for the other bait and this is either a bigger fish or I got a doubler oh I got a doubler good stuff that's what we're here for here we go oh yeah so I will just try to hold that there see if we can get a mate to come along just keep it tight Oh, I think I have. There we go. And there we are. Just hold it in place with your first fish biting away. And it, and while it's flapping around, it's, and you're seeing this other, and that's the advantage of this red tubing, flapping around with the bait on it, will attract another fish. So there's a couple more. And Craig's on as well. Or he's just feeling the bite, mate. He's on. No, here we go. This looks like another good fish. It is. So we're just out here at the, just around the Rouse Channel, out um, from Morton Bay. Not too far there. You can see Stradbroke Island in the distance. And good fun. You know, this sort of winter whiting. These are sort of some bigger tides at the moment because we're around the moon. All right, so we're just in a couple of meters. We don't have to cast far from the boat. Here, let's drop it down take up that slack. Advantage too, you see this white tip that I have on here, it's really easy to see. It's not intended for the daytime fishing, it's for the nighttime fishing. A tip from Youngy um, down in the Narang to see uh, at night with the sort of lights inside your boat, but it's good in the day too, you can see that tip a bit better and it's just getting pulled down now. So feeling it 
pull it away and we're on like that oh yeah this is a good fish might be another doubler i think what do you think craig a caller for a double or just a good fish oh yeah i think you got uh, me. you can't get good help can you folks look at this we <laughs> we're playing a bit of dancing here we got a double on here double on here a couple of decent fish and what's craig got he's got one so there we go another couple of nice fish boy look at that beautiful bend in that rod this is a six foot wilson live fiber it's called whiting appropriately it's got a reasonably solid butt but really beautiful tip and i got my mate um matty fritz to lighten it up more remove that um the foam handle uh, with the grip really helps and there's another couple of fish another good fish for craig nibbles again just dropping that tip down waiting for a fish to essentially run away with it like that and then we're just lifting the rod lifting and starting to wind so here yeah, this beautiful little rod from wilson seven foot six properly called the whiting now whilst it's a sort of thicker butt i think it's intended for the um there we go intended for some of the king george down south it's got that really flexible tip so just wait here for this one again not very far back from the boat oh i pull it down and we're on oh yeah good fun middle of the day such a great sport for you know to get kids in um this winter whiting fishing all right folks so that's the end of whiting session we've got a few decent fish for a feed and a few smaller ones for snapper bait but uh, always good fun cheers <laughs>